Trail is actually a piece of an art initiative in our neighborhood, trying to get more art into public spaces created by our children and youth of the South District. So we also went into the schools, had guest speakers. They had to work on their submissions in the classroom. That's when we thought, hey, let's see what the kids want. Let's see what the, all the neighborhood wants to see. They're the ones who are gonna see it the most, you know. You know, it is an overlooked neighborhood. Even when we were trying to get funding for everything, for supplies and all that stuff, we were kind of shunned. We were told no a lot, but we kept on going. Angie kept on going, you know. It was really her efforts that, that made this happen. We're definitely the largest in Iowa City, and I think maybe second or third largest in Iowa. We decided, well, let's have them paint it too. <laughs> and have them really invested in this wall, you know, like, look, I painted that tree, I painted that dog. Once we decided to do that, it really just started snowballing and got, you know, bigger and bigger and bigger until I have almost a finished wall that was done 80% by the community. Safety was a huge factor. So in organizing, instead of having, come everyone, paint, we really needed to be mindful of who do we invite? Let's start with who sees it first. Let's start in our neighborhood. When they come, how do we communicate? We're gonna be wearing masks, we're gonna be social distancing, but we still want you to be together. The kids did such a great job. I'm so proud of my own kids, but also these bitty bitty kids and some of the older, older kids who are also next to each other doing the same thing. It was so cool to watch the youth create their mural. I just have to say that was my fa one of my favorite parts of all this. There's no way two years ago we would have known that all of this in our country and world was going to come to fruition. With that being said, the intent for this mural was to bring people together so that when we were next to each other painting, you got to meet somebody and figure out what you had in common. The fact that it all happened during this time, yes, it amplified how important those neighborhood connections, those resident connections are, but it absolutely speaks to it's not just the neighborhood connections needing to be strengthened and tied together, it's that we're also tied to other things that also need to be looked at and need to have a voice. And so it's, it's, it's a micro piece of what, personally, I tried to do very well and, and collaborated so that at a macro level, people can see it and be like, whoa. This mural happened at a time that it was needed most, but it's always been needed. Just the feedback from the neighbors, the walker buys, you know, like everybody who lives across the street, you know, I've, I've built so many great connections and had so much fantastic feedback. Every day I'm, that I'm out here, it's a constant, hey, way to go, we love it, good job, keep going. And it's a reminder of this is who we are. And painting it, having folks paint it that we're from the neighborhood is also a reminder of look how powerful we are, that we get to create this and for folks that come into the neighborhood they get a glimpse of how special and amazing we are here in this part of town.